Hi, everybody. My name is Sarah, and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto. And you guys are turtles or snowflakes or Goldilocks or no matter what club members. <clears throat> Maybe you're all of them. I know that a lot of us are turtles, and those are people with slow metabolisms because we have a lifetime of dieting and failures and attempts at losing weight and only ending up with like metabolisms that just say to us right so i've got my i've got my men's health here with um this is part two of actually it ends up being really food finds that maybe none of us knew about before so grab your pens and little post-it notes um for some items that may pique your interest and you want to see more by going to the store and seeing what the labels say in them. I always go to Amazon first because that's my um, place where you can get good nutritional information on the label. I like that. So what we have here is the best protein powder. And they say naked whey, grass-fed whey protein. The ingredient list is the most surprising part. Whey protein concentrate, that's it, no fillers, straight up muscle fuel. Per two scoops, 120 calories, 25 grams of protein, three grams of carbs, zero added sugar, and two grams of fat. So for those of you that still um, like smoothies and things like that, I don't know where else I'd put whey concentrate, maybe in yogurt, I don't know. But a good source of protein there, it sounds pretty clean to me. Best ground beef, Nemen Ranch 8020 ground beef. And it comes in the VAC pack. You're familiar with VAC packs. Um, there's an almost butchery beefiness to this juicy burger. No meatloaf or taco fodder. Per four ounces, 270 calories, 26 grams of protein, zero grams of carb, 18 grams of fat. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I just love me my burgers. And we have a burger every Friday. We were getting top sirloin ground, but um, I've switched to ground um, brisket, more fat. And oh my God, it's just divine and it's tasty. And But I just love a burger anyway. And Greg cooks it on the Weber grill, not the big green egg, because that's a big production on Sunday. So on Fridays, we have our hamburger patty and I measure out eight ounces and cook it. So... I don't know, from Weight Watchers or someplace, I learned that like it loses an ounce or two in fat on the grill. He does not press down to get rid of all the great juice that I, I could never, when I see them do that on an ad and it's like, no, don't press it down with that spatula. That's all the good stuff, right? So I don't know what's left after he cooks the eight ounce. I've never really taken the time to measure it. It's just time to eat at that point. So Nemen, M. I am a N. I know that I usually get open nature, something like that on the backpacks at Shaw's when um, they're on sale or, or I need them. And Whole Foods has a good sale too. Pine, Pinelands, I think, 80-20. Best chicken, Bell and Evans, spat chalk chicken. Flat chickens cook faster and more evenly. This company does the butchery for you. Per four ounces, 160 calories, 22 grams of protein, one carb, and seven grams of fat. Of course, no added sugar. So whenever you see that Bell & Evans spat chalk, it's like in a vac pack along with their other items that they have. Pretty cool. You can put the whole thing flat on the grill, flip it over. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it adorned um, with whatever people put on it. But to me, it just means a filleted chicken that um yes like they said they've done all the butchery for you and is it more expensive yes it is is it worth it yes it is it's bell and evans it's a great chicken brand you don't hear bad things about bell and evans um best rice minute instant rice and quinoa the quinoa adds protein and heartiness to the side dish per cup cooked 220 calories five grams of protein 45 carbs. <laughs> yeah, for us on a keto plan, I guess that's a little bit lot. Um, four of them are fiber, zero added sugars, and two grams of fat. So I know that Greg likes his his 
um, success white rice. I cook up a bag of that every week and he gets his little portions. He likes, he likes white rice. What can I say? Um, but I'm not a rice person. I'm a cauliflower crumble person. I thought that was like a gift from gift from heaven to get cauliflower crumbles. And um, we're having my homemade chicken soup today. And in it are the cauliflower crumbles. It tastes just like rice to me. Works for me. So I'll continue with that. He'll continue with his minute rice without the quinoa. And we'll all be happy. But 45 grams of carbs, that, that to most of us would not be worth it. I'd rather have it in a sweet potato, to tell you the truth. Best bacon. Hormel Black Label Bacon Original. You don't need maple glazes if the bacon itself tastes this good. Per two strips, pan fried, 90 calories, six grams of protein, zero carbs, and seven grams of fat. Well, I buy the Kayam Maplewood Smoked. It's a 12 ounce package, and I love how it cooks in the pan. I put it in, my, in our omelets that we have on Thursday. Sometimes it goes on top of the salad. Um, yeah, it's not like we're having BLTs with it, but I do like that bacon. It's just a good cook, but I love, if I wasn't buying that, I would buy thick cut, any other type. Um, I, I like the applewood smoke the best, but it's the thick cut that I go for. And the Kayem is that way, K-A-Y-E-M. And Greg thinks their hot dogs are the best ever. Um, did you see Inside Edition where... Eating a hot dog takes away 36 minutes of your life. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows, right? You, you can find a survey um, that will give you any information you want. All the numbers are always screwed. What works for you and your belly and your weight, your scale, your happiness and your contentment is what works for you, right? That's because we are Goldilocks and each one of us is different. That's how I look at all of that. The best tortilla, some people do like tortillas. Um, La Ban Banderita yellow corn. These taco hold holders are potent in one key flavor that others lack, corn. Well, that's true. Like in the times that I've had corn, I love a strong corn, like a strong corn muffin, a strong corn um, taco or tortilla. So I don't know if I've seen these the picture is very, very small with my old, old eyes. But a corn taste is is something that, that would be worth carbs for me. Um, per two tortillas, they must be the tiny ones, 100 calories, 2 grams of protein, 19 grams of carb, and um, zero added sugars, 1 gram of fat. So for two of them, 19 carbs. Well, you know, if you're having 50 or less, some people have 75 or less carbs on maintenance, I guess it could work. But, you know, sometimes it's just nice. I would build it up. I would have two on the plate and build them up with a scrambled burger and shredded lettuce and some guac and some hoagie hot sauce. That's just me. All right. This um, is the best egg. Eggland's best organic lard. Now, Eggland has an organic and then they have just a regular they're perennial winners that collect on bright orange yolks, which result in fluffy scrambles. Per egg, 60 calories, six grams of protein, zero carbs, four grams of fat. Well, anything organic will catch my eye before the regular, no matter how much they care for their eggs. A lot of people, when I'm doing the shopping, they want the Nellies, but I am a, I'm a Ben and Jerry's, Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> Don't you love it? I am a Ben and Jerry's. I'm a Pete and Jerry's jumbo egg kind of gal, and they have the bright orange. And sometimes with the jumbo, you're going to get that double yolk. So that's what I go for. We'll do a couple more and we'll call it a day with this, okay? Best salmon. Orca Bay wild caught sockeye salmon fillets. These red orange bricks of omega-3 loaded fish are luscious with nothing more than lemon juice. For four ounces, 160 calories, 24 grams of protein, zero carbs, and six grams of fat. So it's Orca Bay wild caught sockeye. Um, what can I say? Salmon is a great thing. I'll 
And that's just about as much as I can handle as the four ounces of it. It's rich, it's luscious, but I could never pig out on salmon like I do on a ribeye steak. Best oatmeal. Well, I don't think many of us are having it, but if you are, they say uh, Bob's Red Mill Old Fashioned Rolled Oats. They make for a rib sticking breakfast, but are also an unsung thickener for smoothies. Per half a cup, 190 calories, six grams of protein, 33 grams of carbs, five of them fiber, zero added sugar, and three grams of fat. So that's the oatmeal. And I doubt many of us will be having it for thickener or any other reason, right? A lot of carbs. And if you go shopping how to spend your carbs each day, I'm sure you would find a different um, option for what would work for you. So that's another 10 or so different items for what you can have um, according to Men's Health. Just some nice food finds that maybe you didn't know about. Sometimes when I have time, I love to languish in the, just in the aisles and get to know the foods and see the lines and the brands they have. You know, like um, Pastine is always interesting with all of their goodies that go well on cold salads or maybe in hot foods, artichoke hearts and all those sort of things. And there's the Cento that I've just discovered with that hoagie sauce, C-E-N-T-O. Also discovered Cento tomato products. And there was a Muti, um, somebody ordered a Muti tomato and it came in like a 22 ounce jug, like liquid almost. And they said you could drink it, it makes a great soup and um, helps with sauces. And I found that kind of interesting and it was just basic tomatoes, which would end up high in sugars. But an interesting add on, there's just certain items that I noticed that I've never seen before. And um, yeah, supermarkets are like museums or libraries for, you know, just going down the aisles and gazing at the things you like or the things you haven't met yet. One thing I used to put in my salads, I think it was more like in the Weight Watcher days, were um, chickpeas, garban garbanzo beans. Those are kind of fun in salads too. I love them chilled in the salad. Nice mixture. I haven't had any in the last few years, but I remember them too. So anyway, have a grand day. I would spend my carbs on a few chickpeas. Have a grand day, and um, I hope this is fun for you. It's fun for me. And because we're all Goldilocks and what we do and how we choose our foods. So just some things that you might not have met yet. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto. I'll see you here the next time. Bye-bye for now.